Press Shift A and go to Mesh and choose a circle. Keep the vertex value to something like 18. Press R and rotate it like this. Press G and move the circle here. Hit tab button to go to edit mode. Press F to fill the circle with the polygon. Now press Alt E to extrude the polygon on its normal. Something like this. Go back to object mode, press right mouse click and apply shade auto smooth. Now select these two polygons, press right mouse click and select flatten. Now press Alt E to extrude them on their normals. Now select these two polygons and press I to insert them. Press X and delete these two faces. Now press 2 to go to object mode. Press Alt and left mouse click on the edge to select the edge loop. Press Ctrl B to bevel the edge loop. Now press X and delete the selected faces. Go to edge selection mode by pressing 2, select this edge and now press F multiple times until all the empty area are filled with polygons. Press 3 to go to face selection mode, select these 4 faces, press I to insert them. Click right mouse click to go to subdivide. Now click right mouse button again to go to loop tools and select circle. This will create a circle shape with the selected polygons. Press I to insert them. Now press X to delete the faces. Hold down shift and select these faces. and press X and delete the faces. Press 2 to go to edge selection mode. Hold down shift and alt and select these two edge loops. Now press alt plus F to fill with polygons. Press shift and alt and select these two edge loops. Right mouse click and select bridge edge loops. This will create polygons between these two edge loops. Hold down shift and alt to select these two edge loops. Press Shift D and drag mouse to duplicate the selection and right mouse click to place the new piece back to the position. Now press P and choose selection to separate the duplicate piece from the origin piece. Hit tab button to go to object mode and now select the newly created piece. Now click right mouse button and convert it into curve. Go to curve setting tab, go to bevel and increase the depth value. and apply shade auto smooth. Go to add modifier and choose subdivision surface and apply subdivision surface modifier to the object. Now we will work on this object. Press Shift H to hide other objects. Press 2 and go to edge selection mode. Press Shift and Alt and select entire edge loop.
Now press Ctrl B to bevel the edge loop. After pressing Ctrl B, you can rotate the middle mouse wheel to increase or decrease the bevel value. Select these cross edges and delete them for this moment. Hold down Ctrl and select this first edge here. Then across the edge loop select the last edge. This will select the entire loop at all at once. Now press Ctrl B to bevel the edge loop. Go to vertex selection mode by pressing 1, press shift and select two vertices and press J to join them. Merge vertices by pressing M and select merge at center or at last. Select the leather grip object once again and go to polygon selection mode. Select these polygons. Press shift D and make a duplicate piece. Press P and make it a separate piece by choosing selection. Now fit it into the metal piece nicely so that it will cover all the empty area. Press Shift A and create a group. Go to vertex selection mode. Press M to merge all the vertices at center. Return to the object mode and drag the vertices to the reference image. Now go to edit mode and press E to extrude the vertices and follow the path.
Now go back to object mode. Click right mouse button, go to convert to and select curve. Now go to curve setting tab and increase the bevel depth value. Click right mouse button and apply shade auto smooth. Now go back to edit mode and adjust these points. Select two points and press right mouse button and select subdivide. This will add more points in between the selected points. I hope you like this video, if yes then please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe it so that you will get notification whenever I upload the next video for you. Now go back to object mode, make the resolution value to 2, press right mouse button and convert the curve into mesh. 
Now go to add modifier and add subdivision surface modifier. Now apply the modifier. Press K to activate the knife tool. Make cut like this into the mesh. Select the polygon and delete them. Go to S selection mode. Select this edge and press F multiple times to fill the hole with polygons. Now select these newly created polygons. Press I to insert them. Press Ctrl R to insert a supporting edge loop. Do the same thing on this end. Thanks for watching the second part of this series. In the next part, we will continue modeling the melee weapon. If you have any suggestion or feedback related to my videos, then please write it in the description. And please like, share and subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I upload the next video for you. See you in the next video friends.